Hello, welcome back to another video. David is in the background getting his hospital bag stuff together. That's what we're working on today. Um, we've just been doing some laundry and making sure we've got everything on our hospital list, which I think I went over with you guys in the last video. Also, I found this set in the guest room closet and I forgot that I had this. It's like oversized and so comfortable and like the pants are super stretchy so i was thinking i'll probably just end up wearing this to the hospital because it's very comfortable and a matching set is just so easy and then wear like some cozy socks and slippers so i'll probably wash this after i'm done wearing it today but we've got everything laid out on the bed in here um and we have our going home outfit a little blanket for her i charged up the portable sound machine, the portable fan, I've got all my pump stuff, our toiletries, just everything. So we're going to end up packing that today, but I wanted to show you guys, we got in our um, diaper bag. I am going to be using my vintage Louis Vuitton like tote bag um, as her diaper bag for, I don't know, like travel and going out to dinner and just like kind of running errands, that kind of thing. But we did want to have another one. So for when David has her um, and for when we're doing like more active stuff, also travel, this one will be great. So we went with the um, Dagny Dover one and it is so beautiful. Let me set y'all up somewhere. We got the large one. It is <laughs> really big actually. But I think it's like stuffed with stuff too. So that's like making it extra big. This is the camel color, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, because we were going between either the dune or this camel, but this one is just so gorgeous. Um, yeah, it's super nice. It's got all kinds of storage compartments, and you can like put this over your suitcase handle, like set it on there. It's got pockets everywhere. Yeah, I was like, man, this is a huge bag. There we go. Ooh. There's all kinds of stuff in here. A place for your water bottle. It's got a little pouch. The material of these bags are so good. Oh my god, a little changing diaper? Or a little changing diaper? A little. It also comes with a little changing pad. That is so nice. Put a little water bottle in there. And. Laptop in the bag. Oh yeah, laptop if you're like using it for travel. Um, wipes, Pocket diapers. Oh yeah, you strap these to the. You put this here and then you can loop this through and strap it onto the stroller so it like hangs off the handles.
All right, y'all, I've got all of my stuff packed in here. Got all my clothes, like all the labor stuff, diffuser, sound machine, tens machine, um, <laughs> like a little speaker. And then her stuff and my postpartum stuff is in here. My pump stuff is in here. I'm gonna bring this. My midwife said go ahead and bring all of it to the hospital and they'll show me how to use it. So, got that. And then we've got two extra pillows and a little thin blanket. She was like, we will have that stuff for you guys. But everyone else has said, bring an extra pillow and a blanket. So, otherwise I think David would be sleeping like with a hospital sheet so he can at least <laughs> add another layer here and then that's his bag um, he's just washing some stuff and then we'll pack that but my stuff is ready to go David just has a few more things that he needs to wash and then they're ready to go. I think I already said all of that. And then we had some lunch as you guys saw. And then David just left to go to the gym. He's gonna meet up with our friend Brian and lift with him and then they're gonna play basketball. So he'll be gone for a couple of hours. Um, I have a severe craving for donuts so guess what I'm doing I'm gonna go get some donuts um, I just looked up like whatever place was like open nearby and it's just one of those classic nothing fancy no specialties just a classic donut place um, where like a dozen donuts is under 10 bucks that's my kind of vibe so that's what we're doing and then everything is pretty much done like now that the my at least my stuff and her stuff is packed i feel like okay we're ready to go i just need to wash this outfit because it has been super comfortable to wear all day and i think this would be great to wear like throw on um when we're heading to the hospital so anyway i'll show you guys what kind of donuts i get definitely gonna get some glazed definitely gonna get some chocolate I love a filled donut as well um, and then probably just eat at least four or five of them until I feel sick and want to go take a nap but it is the most beautiful day the weather is amazing all the trees are changing it's like gorgeous it's fully fall here and um, yeah, just like such a nice day. I keep thinking that it's Saturday, but it's Friday. Um, David has a four day weekend. I don't know why, but that's great because we were able to get all of the hospital stuff done. And yeah, we'll just get to like rest and relax and hang out for the weekend.
right, y'all? Look at the amount of donuts I got. They didn't have any regular glaze, so they're like all like chocolate. Um, I got an apple fritter in there, some cake donuts for David. Oh my God, looks so good. All right, y'all, we're gonna do a little donut plate. And I'm probably just gonna chill and watch Sex in the City, or and just like that. Um, so nice to like have been so prepared because now for like the next week or two, literally we just, I can just relax and treat it like a vacation. Um, it has been a crazy two months getting everything set up. Oh my God. <laughs> That's okay. It's all good. Wash my hands. I did have one chocolate glaze on the way home. Definitely some of the apple fritter. A little chocolate cake donut. I'm not really a cake donut fan, but they were like, the options were very limited. A little bit of that. <laughs> okay. And now I have diabetes. I'm getting all of this out of the way while I'm pregnant because I will not, I will try not to keep up these habits after she's here. Good morning guys, happy Saturday. It is like 10 o'clock right now. We went to bed around midnight, we were watching Gilmore Girls and kind of had like a late dinner. And then I showered and shaved and did some self tan, obviously did my heels curls. Turned out pretty good. This afternoon, I'm going over to um, Brian and Evelyn's house for like a little event hangout skincare party. Um, Brian's mom, Evelyn's mother-in-law, uh, sells or does something with like Korean skincare. So she invited a like invited a bunch of women over to do like facials and look at the products and have like drinks and food and stuff like that. So I just thought it'd be fun to go over there. That starts at like three. And then I'm gonna attempt this evening to try and get some more pictures of like the belly and like maternity um, pictures before I go into labor. Um, Cause we just have to document this very, very big <laughs> belly. Um, so I think David also has something going on this afternoon with Brian while the girls are doing something else. I think maybe they're playing basketball or something, I'm not sure. Um, and then he will meet up with me or we'll head to the area I wanna get the pictures at um, this afternoon or this evening, like when it's Sorry, I can't breathe, I'm so stuffy. This evening when the lighting is great and it's like before sunset, we're gonna go over to this park in North Ogden that we love. If you guys have seen my previous Utah vlogs before we moved here, um, we stayed in an Airbnb a couple times in the North Ogden area and there's a beautiful park and I'm assuming all the trees are like changing and looking gorgeous. So. Um, that's kind of the vibe but i was thinking i have no idea what i'm wearing for this i have like nothing nice that fits me so i might try a couple things here or i'll just go over to i just want something like maybe like white and basic like some kind of dress or something i'm not totally sure so i might go over to old navy or like target or there's like a marshall's over here right now i'm gonna go downstairs and Oh my God, I just feel so swollen. Um, go downstairs, maybe ice my face. <laughs> Have some coffee and some breakfast and then 
I need to rinse this self tan off. Oh, look what I be. leaving station park um i went into forever 21 and the dress that had like the cutout on the side was honestly perfect but the cutout was just so short and that's like on my side that i normally pose and i liked the long side everything else about it like the neck and the sleeves and stuff were so beautiful like exactly what i was looking for but just the slit wasn't going to work out so I got the black dress that I tried on at H&M just now. And then I got a couple of, this is actually maternity, a little sweater, but I will definitely wear this after the baby. I think it'll be long enough to wear it with like some knee high boots and like kind of style it as like a sweater dress. That'll be really cute. And then I found like an $11 cardigan that was so cozy. And I'll actually probably just throw that over this dress for the little party later. So I'm gonna head back home. My feet are so swollen. I need to like prop them up for a little bit and then start getting ready here in about like 45 minutes. Hello guys, we are um, in North Ogden at the park I've, I've vlogged so many times. It's called um, Oaklawn Park in North Ogden and it's like in the back of a neighborhood so there's literally no one ever here. Maybe like, there's like someone walking their dog. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. But it is just absolutely stunning. So I went home and just changed really quickly added some curls to my hair and um, now we're gonna just wait for the sunset which is in about 40 ish minutes um, but I wanted to get here early so we can like find a like the best spot for pictures um, but yeah there's like a beautiful little section over here that I think will be great for the pictures it's cold just this view I mean it's like I cannot get over it North Ogden is gorgeous so pretty look at this beautiful park completely empty perfect grass hello happy sunday guys it is almost five o'clock now. Um, where's the light? Oh, I forgot. There we go. I had adjusted the light yesterday for the pictures that we took, which turned out so good. I'll put some of them on the screen right now. I'm so glad that we captured those. And I think it's extra special that David was the one that took them. Um, so we got some really beautiful photos and some of the last pictures of my belly <laughs> like well you know put together pictures I'm sure I'll take one um before I go <laughs> like into labor like at the hospital or something um but yeah those were a success they turned out great I'm so happy to have those and today we have been watching football we went on a walk with Sky. Phoebe was not interested in a walk today. She would not come out of her bed. She wanted to be lazy today. Um, so we went on a long walk, which was good. 
and as hard as it is <laughs> it's so exhausting and like I can't breathe the whole time but it's really good for me um, especially if you want to get like labor moving along um, I've also been doing like curb walking and making sure to like keep everything open so she can just go down I'm ready like I'm really ready for her to come we have um, our 39 week appointment on on Tuesday and I'm considering getting my cervix checked just to see if anything is happening but I'll probably wait until we hit 40 weeks it is a gorgeous day though it's like in the 60s Sorry. I'm trying to find a way to get comfortable here we've also been doing laundry and cleaning I'm definitely getting that like psycho nesting um, thing going like I scrubbed all the toilets wiped down everything in all the bathrooms scrubbed our shower and packed up mopped the floors downstairs and up here vacuumed everything I'm just like I need everything to be perfect for when she comes but I wanted to show you guys the last couple of things we got in the mail um, before heading to the hospital whenever <laughs> that is okay so I ordered these little flameless candles for the hospital um, to kind of just set the vibe set the mood um, as I've already told you guys I am bringing a diffuser with eucalyptus oil I'm bringing a speaker to play music or um, like hypnobirthing meditations which I've been really loving when David and I are doing the perineal massages at night we did them we did it again last night um, and the night before we've, do, we've been doing that every night I put on a hypno breathing meditation and I like really get in the zone and it's really helpful so maybe I'll have some of that going or just like some white noise or just like relaxing music or Casey Musgraves or whatever um, and then I'm gonna set up the candles dim the lights and just make it a really relaxing comfortable space to be in so I just got, I was gonna get the mini ones, but then I thought these were just <laughs> nicer. So I got these, let's see if they even have batteries in them. Come on. Nothing is more annoying than when you pay for something like this already and they don't send batteries with it. How annoying is that? It's got a little remote though. I'm gonna need six freaking batteries for this. That's annoying. Now it's like an extra cost and an extra step I gotta do. I don't know how to get that back on. Anyway, flameless candles. I ordered a nursing pillow. I was gonna just use my pregnancy pillow, but that thing is like so long and big and I wanted to have something I can just like grab and set her on quickly without having to get that big old thing and like <laughs> wrap it around and maneuver it. So, I got this. Okay, <laughs> God. It's actually the same exact material as her changing pad, twinsies. So, this will obviously expand a little bit more, but I just thought that would be so much easier than the big pregnancy pillow which I'm sure I'll use but this is just like a easy quick grab you can also use it for tummy time you can also use it to like prop them up obviously with supervision um so just a nice little thing to have but I need to wash the cover of that anyway that's all the things <laughs> just gotta get batteries for that I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to add to this video before I close it out I think tonight um I'm just gonna make some dinner need to have something healthy because I've been eating so many sweets and desserts it's absolutely insane but um yeah make some dinner finish up laundry just you know get more shit done David has tomorrow off so we'll do even more stuff tomorrow also we are wanting to 
trade in our cars. We like them. Like I love the way my car looks and there's so many things about it that I love, but like it already needs new brakes and we've only had it for a couple of years and I have like barely any miles on it. And like the electrical system thing, I maybe I've already mentioned this, but like it just, I don't know. We wanna just have, we wanna get different cars. I wanna get a Volvo SUV. I think it's the XC90, but we're not quite there yet because <laughs> that's a very expensive car. And we can't trade both of our cars in right now. David's is good. Um, but mine's one that needs a new brakes. Mine was also a little bit more expensive, so it has a higher trade-in value. And David has been looking at a Toyota truck because they hold their value really well. They last a super long time. You can put a ton of miles on them and they're still like great cars. So I think tomorrow we're gonna go look at one, either a Tacoma or a Tundra. Um, it has the space we're looking for, for the car seat, for the dogs, and then like the whole back end obviously would be great to have. And with the snow and stuff, it can drive really well in that. So anyway, it's just something we're thinking about. So we may do that. If I start another vlog tomorrow, I'll make sure to bring you guys with us for that. Um, but this might be the last vlog i may have said that in the previous vlog i'm not sure before i really wanted to make a video of a final townhouse tour that's not going to happen <laughs> before i go into labor um i doubt that that will happen so and there will be like little touches and things that we'll be adding afterwards i also wanted to do a everything i ordered for the baby but I'll probably do that afterwards as well. Um, but I have been trying to get all the, you know, as many vlogs out as I can before I go into labor. Um, but yeah, anyway, this clip is super long now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of random and all over the place. There's like a little cooking, a little unboxing, a little packing, like a random photo shoot, um, all kinds of stuff. So Hopefully you enjoyed it though. Um, make sure to hit the subscribe button like I've mentioned in my past couple of videos. A lot of you watch but aren't subscribed and subscribing is totally free. You don't have to like sign up for anything or pay for anything or do anything. You just get kind of notified when I upload a video if you are a subscriber. So hit that button and thank you so much for watching. And I'm hoping that when I see you in the next video, I'm closer to going into labor or I am going into labor. Um, so yeah, anyway, I will see you guys in the next one.